Hi, today's good person to know is Rod de Jong. He's a senior director at Microsoft and his talk was all about the benefits and opportunities that developers now have using their platform. Rod said that the benefits of the cloud in wearable space is immense and to trust Microsoft because of their volumes. They're spending an awful lot of money to be at the top of their game. It is true, there are lots of companies out there who are offering the same services and so how do you know which company to go with? Rod said, think about where these companies will be in two to three years time and base your decision on that. He also spoke about Windows 10, the new devices that they're releasing, such as the TV adapter, the band and the HoloLens glasses. But what I found really amazing was the fact that developers can now develop an app once on Windows, but it's also usable on Android and iOS. Now, I always thought these platforms worked independently of each other. So there you go. So if you are a developer, check out developerswindows.com and see how you can take advantage of the new devices that they're about to release. So thank you for watching. The introduction of personal digital assistants, um, I, I'm, uh, it's, it's really nice, but I'm still surprised that when Cortana or Siri or whatever equivalent you're using tells you that you need to leave a little bit early for your travels because there is a traffic jam uh, on your route to your next appointment. For me, that's still a surprising uh, experience, but I think that my kids will not expect anything else. On the cloud side, we're actually building out capacity as part of our Microsoft stuff, uh, Microsoft offering. We are exhausting the capacity of our suppliers currently. We cannot add enough data centers. So we are resource strapped here. And that's something to really to, to take into consideration when you think about how relevant the move to the cloud is for us. What are the opportunities uh, for Microsoft in the wearable uh, space? And I think one of the decision factors should be is, is that you should have some trust in our volumes because it's all about choice. The reality of the IT industry is, is that there are a lot of companies out there and very few are left. So that means is that when you have a strong position, you have that strong position probably for two to three years, but you have to earn that position every time again and again and again. And when you walk around in our cloud data centers, the amount of equipment and the amount of investment we're doing is huge. But at the same time, you should also start thinking about what's the longer term prospects. So what's happening with the cloud proposition? What's happening with the device strategy? And where should I join um, the likely winners of the future? From the very tiny ones, uh, the Raspberry Pis uh, on the, yeah, this is for you the left side, uh, up to the Xbox One which will soon run also Windows 10 based applications, to the service hub, which is a kind of conference room system, which runs Windows 10, and uh, on the HoloLens, which also runs Windows 10. For us, it's actually really important to show the integration across those platforms. And I think that's where we have a unique approach. With the universal Windows apps um, uh, strategy, you can develop an application um, and run it in all of these platforms. You can also make it holographic aware and extend your application to that new world. And that's something, for instance, we're doing with Minecraft. And Minecraft, we will provide extensions to so that you can actually use this in a virtual reality uh, situation. The ambition was win 1 billion uh, Windows 10 devices in three years. And as it looks right now, we are on track in making that number. Because one of the integral parts of Windows 10 is the availability of uh, a store. And the store also means is, is that you as an, an, an a developer, but also as a partner and interested in virtual reality and, 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 and wearable technology can actually market your applications through the store of Microsoft. And I think that has a big benefit. Specifically, when you target this based on the universal Windows platform, you can develop your application once with a similar tool set and actually deploy this across multiple platforms. 
which also uh, creates now the opportunity to even extend this picture so that you can develop an application once for the billion Windows devices, but at the same time you could also target Android and iOS platforms. So there is a huge potential here as a landing platform for your solution. And of course that opens up some new opportunities. We have released a new device category which is called Device Hub or Service Hub. And what we intend to do with this is, is to automate the way how you do meetings. So it's a an, an video conference system with annotations, with some smart tricks in here so that we can actually boost the productivity of group meetings. The Xbox One is not a finished product. It's a product which is continuously being developed. So if you have an Xbox One, you will get fe new features every time. And we will also enable Windows 10 based applications, UWP applications, to the platform. Some uh, people might uh, actually um, recognize this little piece of hardware, which is a Microsoft TV adapter. Because when I use my phone, and I have a Windows phone running Windows 10, and it runs Continuum, I can actually work and run Word and Office on my television, based from my telephone, using this very nifty piece of equipment. One of the device categories, which is really hot, are the hybrid PCs. Let's talk a little bit about the band, which tracks your well-being, tracks your, uh, what you are doing with an, an enormous array of sensors, and, but also provides me with some feedback. It buzzes, it beeps, it has a display, it can actually tell me some stuff. It has a companion application on this device, which is called the Microsoft Health app, and it's also available for other platforms which shows me all my statistics and what I need to do and, 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 and gathers data. But this phone also has a motion sensor, so it combines the motion sensor of this phone with what I have on my wrist into a single application. And then it ties back to a Microsoft Health back-end platform which tracks my progress. So I can see every, uh, uh, anything which is happening in my progress and I'm um, running in my personal records and I can set goals. But I can also turn it around. I can also uh, tell Microsoft Health is, is that I would like to develop some skills or some, some personal fitness on a specific area. And then the system will actually download exercises to my band and the band will show me and tell me what I need to do. And we have chosen specifically to uh, look at augmented reality and I think it's a, an interesting device to start thinking about. Here are the five building blocks you need to start building on the Windows Holographic Platform. Gaze is the first form of user interaction on HoloLens. To interact with those items, you use gestures. The sensors on HoloLens read specific movements of your hands. When you go now to our uh, dev.windows.com uh, website, you can see all the information about the upcoming release of uh, HoloLens and the, the, the software platforms around this. Um, and I think it's really an interesting opportunity for you to start thinking about how you can make your virtual reality uh, or your application HoloLens capable. Follow Microsoft in this space. Um, see what we are trying to do. Benefit from the the platform uh, volume we're going to do, but also the innovations we're landing here on, uh, in the field, both on our wearable technology side as in uh, augmented reality, and make your applications, your next wearable technology application successful running on our platform. Now it is true, there are lots of companies out there who are offering you benefits of using the cloud, but think wisely, be careful who you'll go with because they may not be around in two or three years time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to see more and thank you for watching.